Hey there, welcome back. Mario is here and today we have once human, 40 tips and tricks. And the question you might be asking, why should I watch this? The answer is simple. I spent 84 hours playing this game and I'm gonna share everything there is to enjoy most out of it. No spoilers, nothing, just from the beginner beginner's tip up to late game. Yes, phase three currently is the latest and yeah. Uh, everything will be uh, also here on the screen and also on timestamps and in description. So if you want to, you can skip through, just read what probably you already know and just read what you didn't so far. And let's jump right to the points and I'm going to be cutting every single one. So it's as fast as possible. So from the beginning, uh, that's why I started new character. There will be two phases. I'll show everything uh, for beginning phase and then end game so um invest in harvest tools this is the first step and we have under these memetics my high recommendation is going for uh, pickaxes and upgrading them as fast as you can find resources uh the reason is everything else you will see there you see there are these these um chapters or how they call the where they will require the same resource that you need to gather and smelt so literally this is the first thing you need to gather and as well every next pickaxe will pick more the same items than the previous one so basically it's faster faster everything right sprint interruptions fix that's nothing else but in settings i highly advise this is on pve servers i believe in pvp it might differ but the main thing that opens up in the gameplay go scroll down and you will find under controls there are sprint to interrupt re reload and sprint to uh, interrupt gun cocking which means well in my case i advise to just turn it off which means you can reload and sprint and whenever you have um weapon that shoots one bullet for example the crossbow it automatically puts the new one it's kind of reload the same so both of them when they're turned off you can sprint and do those things so it really really makes all gameplay way easy, well easier as well but more enjoyable that's the reason why we are here complete journey tasks that's under j button uh what it is, it is like a task, not everything will be doable right away. For example, some, some electric appliance or something will come later. But this is basically how the game treats as tutorial. Like literally, you can see every single of those things are kind of just introducing different things from the game. But what it doesn't tell, well, actually tells that the rewards are experience and that other this is currency this is the energy link is that like a money so simple things just build this put there open something something sometimes it's just without doing nothing you can get a lot of experience let me i'm not quite sure i will be able to trigger but at the beginning yes you see we have a level up i was something in but eight something because i have run a little bit further just to unlock things to show but maybe i can get two levels okay and let's not get greedy anyways you got the idea a lot of money a lot of xp and a lot of things to unlock even further commissions for early boost so this is something when you find uh first well i call it the village or basically Every time you see something like this icon, uh, that's where the city, well, where the people, quest giver, well, all the quests will lead there. There will be a one person every time. It's a bit different, but they are giving you commissions. So, and they are opening every new week. They're actually, I think, in 20 hours, there will be even the third one opening. Anyways, uh, here you he have to commit. So you need to have to say, I want to do this for particular and you have also a few times you can switch out so as you can see i have selected my five tasks to complete and just just take a look how many energy links way more 
and experience is giving when you complete this. And also, when you are out in, in open, uh, you can fire up under tasks. There is under button L when you play on computer. And here, all the tag the commissions are there. If you forget, you don't need to come back to the guy. Also, you don't have to give in. Whenever you will reach and do those things, it will automatically be done and you get all the resources in your well, in your backpack and basically level up from absolutely amazing a lot of experience don't calibrate pick items so what it is is when you have a gear workbench it's early in the game but you have option to calibrate things which like in simple words now the pistol does 100 damage then it will be 112 so 10 plus damage and you can calibrate it four times, depends on what what rarity weapon it is. And whenever you pick up them from the box, you don't, you didn't create them. You will be not able to repair them. For example, I have this, I don't know, awesome uh, rifle. I am pushed to, you know, increase the damage, but. Whenever the, the, the durability will go down, as you can see, there's the durability. There never is fully, fully on when you pick them up from the ground. That's it. The weapon will be thrown out, at least in the early and mid to late game. It's true. Later on, there is one small trick, but don't rely on that. My advice, make weapons what you want and then upgrade them and then fully enable their, their damage by calibrating, all right? Focus on all crates and the, the emphasizes is all. So let me just, I will be, I'll be cheating and just bringing up pictures I took for this purpose. So I'm gonna mention the most important crate. So this is the least one, storage crate. It, look, it sometimes looks different, doesn't matter, the name is the same, smaller, bigger uh, package, just uh, there are, items that you will need for crafting valuable items later in the game then next is a gear crate additional chance to get uh, armor a little bit better even better is weapon crate they look exactly the same everywhere um, there's weapon or blueprint uh, in there so even more highly advisable but this is the mythical uh, chests that are in every point of interest. That's basically the goal, the main chest. Uh, later on in the game, they are behind doors, so don't leave before you loot this chest. It actually glows with this red uh, thing above it, so you can see it from miles away, if it's not somewhere inside, so also true. But we don't stop there. I don't stop there. It was too late already in the game, and I realized this is the... Morphe crate. So this is an animal. You have to shoot. Basically, it's a walking crate. Uh, the trick is it's invisible. So um, here I took a picture. Pay attention here above the backpack. There is a little radar. Radar. It starts blinking when you're near such crate or actually any other uh, such anomaly. So the faster it blinks, obviously the closer you are. Nothing uh, new there, but. Uh, what you need to do is you need to press that Q, that, you know, that that thing where you reveal world around you, and this thing will be somewhere there. It's basically whenever this is blinking, you are in the distance where you do the snap and it will reveal things. Also, I need to mention these left uh, from other users. It's, it's so random currently, but whenever there's something People tend to help each other and drop a note. Like if you see a bunch of five, six, seven notes across, well, that's already too late, too far. Uh, then there is something there, right? So just check something around. You will find most likely also this crate. You shoot, you kill, and afterwards you loot. That's how you get all the crates. Build compact base, and that's, yeah, of course, not this small. This is uh, two times two blocks, but reason is kind of simple, but also just whenever I see around huge bases, I don't understand. So you will be moving base a lot. Just get used to it. It's currently it doesn't cost nothing. And the more, the bigger base there is, the harder, and trust me, you will be absolutely 
frustrated when you can't place it down. Imagine there's a slope and you have an enormous base. One side will be in the air, so it will not allow to put it like that. There is kind of um, strict rules and, and, and it can, cannot be on the road. So there are limited space. So try to be as compact as much. And also I'm going to squeeze one more bonus here. I tried um, cheating, which was I build small base, few stories, and then expand one, one tile out in every order, like, like a mushroom. The thing is, idea was simple. When you place down everything underneath your base is destroyed. For example, these resources, they respawn. So you don't want that. And I wanted to be leaving as little as mark as possible, but actually uh, the game calculates like all together, even if your base is going, and especially when it's going uh, wider at the top, everything beneath it will be destroyed and nothing respawning. Uh, so that's that doesn't work here Pick up acid from deviants. So deviants basically are these monsters. There are two types of monsters Not quite sure. Of course, there is no acid, but they drop a lot of acid way more than uh, You can imagine I killed one more here Nah, just my arrow, but loot them. The idea is simple don't leave it. Trust me, you will find yourself later on uh, wishing to get more acid. And before you unlock some recipes, that's the way uh, to get it. From these deviants, in, in, um, anywhere and everywhere you go, just basically loot goblin uh, rule number one, never leave nothing on the ground. So my advice, stick with that. It is really crucial, especially for that acid that becomes a problem in the late game quite a lot. Do I have still... I haven't picked any acid. Well, sucks to be me, I guess. Unlock blueprints. Sounds silly, but trust me, the game is a lot and there's so many things overwhelming and you might not notice, or when you do notice, uh, for example, here I have picked up enough fragments to unlock this hunter frag pistol. And this is how it looks. I don't have the blueprint yet. If I try to build something, some new weapon, there is no such pistol. I have only the green one. So uh, whenever, time after time, just check if there is mark. And also there's under armor, as you can see, a lot of these. But you will pick them up eventually going and playing the game you will get them and yeah just mouse over and press and hold uh, f and as you can see now it should be yes now i could get even higher rarity weapon build just like that stack dig by boys yes that's how it's called as you can see uh kind i don't want to say pokemons because they're different like pal world also pals uh, they are, these are deviants, and as you can see, I have three boxes, they basically live in there, and this dig, dig by boy has one ability, that, that it, it stays in base and gathers items, resources around you, resources specifically, like uh, iron ore and, and copper ore and everything, as you can see, you can because my head is in front, but Currently, overnight, this little pal has digged up iron ore. I can easily pick it up and copper ore and silver ore and tin ore. You saw at the, that side of the screen, probably didn't notice, but ah, I have a bunch of everything. So it is literally one of the best and early um, deviants that if you, and you will get more and more of them when you gather resources yourself, they randomly just drop in between um, resources. Build more or just take out some other uh, deviants and put back dig boys. Um, early mid game, I'd say, it will be absolutely uh, crucial because they passively gather your resources and I don't tell, need to tell you, you will need a lot of them base away from danger that means remember i mentioned that you will be moving base a lot so it is 
kind of crucial, especially in the early mid game when you don't have turrets. That's basically late game when you have turrets at your base that defends it. Uh, before that, this is how it looks like when Dig by Boy is going out. He's out in the open. If around your base you have noticed and there are wolves, boars, casual enemies, all enemies. So boars, I think, is the most annoying because they do not attack and engage at huge distance. So it appears like they are not hostile. They are hostile. And they will harass every single one of your deviants. This is one of them. If you have a lot of them, they will be bugged and they will be attacked while you are away. Be aware of that. That's annoying as hell when you come back and they are all smashed in pieces, right? Cheap fuel for bike. What it means is this is the bike. You will get it from playing game just early in you will get. That's your main uh, transport thing. And cheap, this is how it's called, portable mixed fuel. There is a possibility you will get these out of the dismem dismantling items and, and, and picking up from the cars uh, laid around uh, the whole whole map. But uh, there is a possibility to open a schematics that says fuel refinery that turns this cheap fuel into better one. Don't do it. The cheap one this this portable what i showed you is five times more effective the problem is the more expensive this version of fuel it requires it's required for cars if we'll get to that but stick with mixed fuel put it in bike you will be happy don't make it into that expensive one it's five times less efficient right calibrate plus four what it means yes this is a bit contradicting the first one but when you have weapons and you have or for example i build this one you see there is current limit later on you can calibrate it up to 10 times so plus four why four pay attention here i'll just randomly pick another one the first two calibrations cost only materials you get them they are all around they are not fallible let's say right so you can easily calibrate once calibrate twice then second thing kicks in you see stardust source for example let's calibrate my weapon you can use three and six what i'm trying to say and show is it's cheap first they are getting more and more expensive so why four times because you see when you reach for uh, these calibrations the first line unlocks of additional attributes this item cannot go any further but uh, it was four seven and ten level ten when you calibrate they unlock more and more uh, these these extra attributes and there sometimes are something really valuable and the cheap and valuable bonus why not so four times I'd say Check, of course, your resources, even the items you have picked up, but don't go above and that. Remember, the picked items you will need not be able to repair, right? Attachments are unlockable. So there are more to it. So let me just explain what it is. So every weapon can be modded with one additional mod, but there are accessories. And as you can see, there are a lot of things you can even find and there's written where to find them, uh, which is even better. But the thing is, it's not like in other games that you need to have or build suppressor every single time for uh, whatever uh, weapon you are picking up. So as soon as you unlock or purchase this particular or whatever item, it's on for every single weapon. So basically it multiplies out of it. Uh, there, there, there will be a lot of under this point. So first off, uh, you can find sellers, the same guys that sell some random things. They also sell these accessories. Thousand sounds a lot, but here, remember, I showed you how to, from commissions you get 2000 for each. So trust me, as I said, they are unlockable. So you unlock them 
for future for all your gameplay for all your weapons at once let me see if how it works i have no clue what i unlocked there but uh yeah you see it shows up right away i can put a silencer i can put optic and as you can see it changes the the stats quite quite a lot i'd say and cool i have cool weapon now let's take a look crossbow ah, crossbow is too poor let's change to the same right i'm just demonstrating oh yeah you see i can put also a suppressor on my uh rifle all other uh they were unique to pistol so you see i have a pistol and rifle with the same suppressor because it's just unlockable but there is more all right let's call it 14th tip uh level two um let me show you one more thing is from this box i already showed so around the map where you you can read where these un, uh, attachments are unlocked i'd show you right on the tooltip you can read approximately the area so when you go there it's not like on the ground there's uh accessory uh, attachments so this is how it looks like this is one of the things it's always almost always investigation so this is one of the investigation where you sit and step in this box it's it's you can see it quite a big time uh mile away and you ne then need to look around and find a broken sign and align your viewing angle so it becomes one piece and that basically unlocks and then there will popping up uh, a, a new item kind of also crate but it looks differently in there is that attachment right and what i'm going what i want to show you is this is one way of the how to get attachments another is when you see such rocks just randomly you can i stepped on this randomly and i was like i want to mine you you cannot you need to throw explosives to you uh to this uh, rock it will uh break and inside there there is attachment so now you understand you need to carry around some explosives with you yes that's also true then you can step on this thing uh there is um like a photo yeah photo thing with the pod uh, also investigate there will be a, a some kind of riddle popping up sometimes there is a copy of you doing a emote let's say just wave you wave back like you need to mimic it right away and you will get your accessories they're quite easy they're they're not uh, interrupting your play gameplay don't think like ah i will come back later i'm showing you this because i skipped so many of them i thought that there are some dumb things and i was dumb i was dumb and there are way more i'm i'm not going to squeeze all all of them here for example strange inscription and the, you can see already the notes around uh, some of them most of them are already so saying how to unlock this riddle so whenever you see something strange and especially when i when you get closer to this, this thing it will say investigate so that means you are on something there is something there and at the end there is valuable when it's attachment grab it trust me you want it because not everything suits for everything some weapons you need more uh faster reload some weapons you want more accuracy so i'd say you need quite a lot of these attachments all right i know i know just don't yell at me all right sell for money it took way too long for me the same guy this the, in every city village call you whatever you want uh is you can purchase those things at the top select sell and i'm just showing you what kind of items you can sell of course uh the value is not high but remember just putting all together you can have dig by boys 10 actually 20 out of them gathering resources that you can then smelt and just come and sell it's like infinite amount of money yes that's what i said it literally takes just time and they purchase as you can see every kind of garbage not absolute garbage i try to sell charcoal yeah they don't like it so you can see anyways that's how you make these um link energy links 
you will run out of them at one point, and I'm gonna tell you which point. When you unlock recipes, new uh, blueprints and in, in, in these memetics, they also, on top of the, this uh, the, these memetic points, they require energy links. They are quite expensive in the late game, right? So making money is a way. Check memetics before. So it goes together with the first absolute first step. This is memetics, and I'm gonna show you the flawed thought process I fall in myself. For example, you see I have these uh, me Jesus Christ meme points. Okay, meme points, and I have 15. I can go unlock uh, basic gear, cost only two, cost only three, and get intermediate gear. Uh, Workbench, amazing, great. Let's get it. Wait a second. Before you can check, I can check and read that I will need uh, fireproof plastic. I don't have uh, refined parts. I don't have, but I could find until then. Vandal, vanadium crystal also then have, but most important, steel. I don't have even steel. I haven't stepped upon iron, so unlocking and rushing for some item might and most cases will be stupidest decision so before that as i said before uh i'd say forging techniques i can't even smelt if i had iron at this point so uh when you mouse over this is the crucial part you can see approximately for example this intermediate um, supplies yes it already shows how much I have and that I will be able to immediately build it. If there will be something actually usable to build in that table, I don't know. That's up to me. But uh, checking before absolutely saves a lot of struggle. For example, synthesis bench sounds good. I think it actually also needed electricity, which if you don't have unlocked is way another problem. So check before, right? And specializations are tricky. Uh, trust me, there is no golden way to do it. I'm going to explain two ways how to approach it. So while you're here and browsing your uh, schematics and what to unlock, in the corner there are available spe specialization nodes. So uh, first off, uh, despite the fact that shows that you can enable one, that's something later for the game, every single one that you unlock will immediately work. So at the end, you can have 10 different specializations enabled all at once. So why it's tricky? Let me explain. Whenever there's a popped up uh, such choice, every single one of us has it random. There's a bunch of things that can pop up and it's randomized for every one of us. So, and it also shows you, first of all, there is, uh, you can select only one and it cannot be changed later. So, you can read, of course, uh, from these four, what is the best and then pick item. And I'm going to explain, just forget what you see on the screen. I had on my other cha character, I'm going to show you that later, um, at the first, absolutely first boost for pickaxe, uh, like 40% or something. That's huge. Like every single item, every single thing i mine will be with boost so it was like immediate like i need to have it that's option one whenever you have just pick from those four your favorite and run with it let me explain with a minor spoiler uh ahead why that was not the great idea greatest idea i didn't do it even in these mimetics you can scroll down and you can find such things as electric drills so at one point in the game, you're going to be ditching pickaxe and switching to drills. Yes. So at that point, you can see that this this speciality that cannot be changed but with some extra. Um, you can with limited amount. But now you see how that would be a bad decision. And it's across many things. Not only pickaxe, but there are... Th something you unlock for example sounds good absolutely boosting your uh, um, wood structure strength 
later on you switch to rock you don't have even wood structure so it's again wasted point so two tactics the one that everyone suggests i'm still judging this i did it myself not picking anything anything at all until every five levels you unlock when you have whole picture then you go through and see oh here i will pick um drill so here i'm not picking pickaxe and basically map out so it all makes sense from what kind of and every single one of them are random right sounds good on paper but let me give you the second option how to approach it just hear me out that's one you can roll with this second one there is a theory and kind of tested in the internet so when you are presented with four options and let's say this super refiner is something i really want i really need all right but there is another one let's say this uh, portable rainwater collector system needed so if i'm not picking anything right now uh these options are locked and i can pick only one of them but if i pick super refinery right now like I'm grabbing this one. These three rest of the cards, for example, the same portable rainwater collector goes back in a shuffle and the same portable rainwater collector might pop up in, um, in, in level 10 in those four cards. So you see, if there are two absolutely, I want both of them, then the option, second way how to do it is pick one, and just fingers crossed, the second one will pop up. Also, one thing I noticed, I, I went through the whole wiki and everything. It seems like every single of these cards are tied to level. Meaning, if this super refinery now popped up on level 5 uh, specialization, it might pop up on level 10, on, on level 15. But it will never, like never ever be a level 40. There are a limited amount when it kind of it's like lower level card that will pop up something there. at least from the wiki uh there is a whole whole guys gathered information where it's yes confirmed in those four this one particular card this particular specialization pops up but not above not below these levels so that's something to keep in mind i'd say with the first you're kind of okay but they both have pluses and minuses, so pick your poison how to approach these specializations. That's why they are tricky, really. Don't rush. Explore a lot. Uh, yes, there is nothing much to show. It should be at the end of the uh, list, but I actually yeah, didn't... I thought about making beginner's video and then advanced, but hey, there's a lot of things, so let's pack everything together. So why I'm saying this is the map. Yeah, I haven't unlocked. This is my new character. The map is huge, but every single of these locations are somewhat different. Yes, there will be uh, repeatable patterns and, and insides of the houses, but uh, they are kind of unique. They are unique in a sense where wherever it, there is, for example, you see this chest, uh, this this item next to the, the building it's not check mark there are one unique this mystical uh, chest that are unique uh, this is unique area this is unique area here might seems like from the map there is some kind of could be some riddle uh this is some some ruins so every single piece of this 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 game is built for exploration and i mean i'm truly saying this because I've been almost in every single corner because I love getting in and checking every single corner. And this game is built in a way where it's rewarding. You will find a chest, you will find a puzzle, you will find something, you will find a quest, you will find... There is no place. It's not so far in... This is the... Um, I can't show you guys. We are currently in the phase three. Season goal goes to three. Uh, it is fully that the, the the map is packed yes it's repeat repeating itself it's not like unique as as such but uh, the areas the ways the, the 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 enemies you encounter also there will be is different so 
explore, explore, explore. The game, it's not about destination, it's about the journey. And this game really, really shines in this exploration. So if you're thinking like, let's push through and get to end game, I'd say this is not the game to do it. It's, it's not like that, right? get teleportation towers so this is how they look when you are in a base so every single time when you approach new uh, such village well camp uh unlock it unlock it but the actual towers in the ba in the game looks like this so this is activated this is it's not a hidden it's it's right there you can open a map and see hey this is not this is something i want to pick and why I'm saying that uh, whenever I approach new uh, map, I basically want to um, just drive around and gather them. Because from one to another, with simple click and hold, you can teleport. The trick is you can't from anywhere, you need to be near these towers. So when you are near to it, only then, for example, you can pick and, and just, you know, switch to something else the only location where you can teleport for free from anywhere is back to your base then it triggers a cooldown and after a cooldown you can do it again so you'll that's not nothing that's a not tip you will get there uh, in no time but there is one more thing i'm gonna squeeze in the next point is teleport towers change worlds so if you pay attention it when you play no i'm i almost lied to you I was going to say if you are playing alone, it doesn't matter. So when you play with friends, it's extra important. For example, you can press G and this is the same server, but there are 10 different worlds in every single one of them. If your friend is in world three, you are in world five, you can on a map stand next to each other. You will not be able to see each other. So basically like a phasing um, side note on a in a corner you can find uh, i don't have in a corner above my head you see there's world three that means i'm in world three so you can ask your friend if you have such uh what's your world and then to join you need to find such teleporter and then you can join the world when you are solo you think it doesn't bother me so when you are solo you can switch those worlds there are no limits nothing uh, keep in mind, every single one of them will have their different events going on. They will have different um, rare deviants popping up. That is basically when, when, when you put your mind to picking up some spe uh, rare special deviant that spawns somewhere, changing those worlds might open you the world where it's still there and not picked up and where it's spawned where if you uh check the place in this current world it's not there you know it's basically basic gaming thing that's how you can trigger and switch worlds to get what you want also if you play just single player right base world can differ so what i did i also just switched from the same teleport i'm now currently in world one nothing nothing ur urgent nothing but if you open map you see for example your camp is now grayed out if you pay attention you see it is in world three so you can easily just click f and teleport there Oh, not on the camp, but on a, on, on a map. Uh, it's still in World 3. So it will do thing, two things. Teleport you and switch your world. And especially it's important if you have friend, playing with friend, you just switch the world, but your base left in the different. Don't get mixed up or, or riled up that the game pushes you back. No, what you need to do is basically now in world one if you want to stick in the, the same map and and this is where your friend also plays you need to bring base with you so that will also lead to the point number 22 is uh, bring the base in the middle why in the middle so let me explain uh the game itself is in maps so this is the first region and my advice would be to put it somewhere in the middle 
Reason is quite simple. Whenever you teleport from your base to any other of these locations, you will be asked for this, this sweet, sweet uh, link, the money, the money. It costs 142, doesn't sound much. Later in the game, when you explore and expand the map bigger and bigger, uh, if you build a base somewhere on some, you know, someone likes, uh, you know, just funny, funny, the funny, but when you need to teleport, for example, somewhere here, it will cost you half thousand up to 500 easily. My base is currently also somewhere high in my, with my main character, somewhere really high. It cost me a ton to just move around. So my advice, whenever you empty or, or basically do everything in this area and this is lower area then the game pushes you to further area how i did it as well is just take a look what you will be exploring and just mark the middle because that will be the cheapest way to sustainably move around and and, uh, and also get your base in the middle of everything don't put it's somewhere where you think it will stick. Trust me, at end game, my gut feeling says you still will be moving your base around because of reasons. Expel I will explain later. So this is more like a reassuring. Everything is solvable, but minus 40. So let me explain. Just now the third phase opened up. Probably later there will be some bigger things, but uh, this is the first um silo that you can encounter there's a smaller level but when you select for example hard which is now just opened it says 50 level that i am but recommended three players not only two but three still did all of them so it's pretty doable so far of course i don't run under geared something something i'm uh, end game but just to confirm and also as you can see this is the my main character so we are switching gears from now on you will see big things i don't know if there might be any spoilers as keeping in mind everything can be seen uh, from the memetic screen so yeah i don't consider but be warned now i'm going to show you more uh, what i mean by min minus 40 that's why i needed to switch um this is when you open up a map also one more thing open now is prime war that is hard that is for uh, 35 level but this 40 actually what it stands for is 40. these prime wars similarly as the the previous ones the three that were already accessible uh, level 25 uh, there are 40 people you can't solo that one it's meant for 40 you need 40 it's it's there is no workaround right so it's not like everything you can do but as far as i can tell all the missions or the quests all the dungeons or the things all all the even your in, at, at your base uh, it says this, this refiner says oh do you need two people no you need more gear or, or more turrets and you'll be fine right cargo scramble for fuel and that's a pvp player versus player hear me out don't run away i hate pvp too at least not a big fan but when you open a map and you can see what is ongoing real-time recommendation what is happening there is you can see this all public crisis events but you need to look for cargo scramble there will be four four uh different events happening at once different uh, levels but um a cargo moving around when you ambush it then the car is broken down and there you need to stay in circle and basically kill those who have squid on their head not squid but ah, how you medusa on on their head but basically and when you have that on your head survive as long as you can the, there's Trust me, go there, there is no um, penalty, nothing, you you can die, but you are why without not, without uh, s uh, s using a lot of items, of course your weapons were down, but the thing is, out of that event, you get these things, these, these how they call it, sproutlet. As you can see, I have 4,500, 
and if you pay attention then this is the this is the premium uh, fuel this fuel can be put in cars and in your bike and as far as i can tell this is the easiest way how to get it uh, as you can see i can purchase 100 that's a lot of fuel and uh, that's only half of it and if i'm being honest i have 78 already in my bag i purchased it already previously so i spent some money so yeah in my opinion this is the fastest and easiest way to get it uh fun fact just don't don't be scared about this player versus player even if you are being absolutely destroyed in the same time uh around when when you have that hat the the, the hat is kind of changing all the time uh don't worry everyone gets those sproutlets even if you're doing poorly even if some enemy is there and and someone else kills they drop them outside so basically no matter how good or bad you are just having some fun running around shooting at each other uh when this 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 cargo runs out of these sproutlets it's end game and everyone still got 60 i guess like absolutely if you join just the last minute you will have still sproutlets provided to you just because of the event so that's pretty easy right and yeah remember the uh, tip about not building huge bases yeah that monst monstrosity cannot be moved around yeesh this is simple eat mushrooms and as funny as it goes i started it doing just today so yeah i found out it just recently and answer is simple how and why uh you get pure water uh you will get uh, the late game you will have um water pump and this distillation devices so not a problem because you need a sprinkler for your farms so you will get water that's not a problem but for food look at this mushrooms can be grown just like anything else like everything else but they give you energy and sanity so sanity is the you know when when i have full health uh, here next to the when on health there is a gray bar it's always when you are uh, in in some polluted area or or coming out of dungeon you will have that now from now on i am growing my own mushrooms i'm grilling them and running around the insa this this insanity is not a, it, it wasn't a problem before but it's just built in while i'm eating because you know you constantly have these you see i have the meters going down again so just drinking water until it pops up it's full uh, water and shows for 20 minutes why it's not showing yeah you're full, fully hydrated and for 20 minutes it will not drain and the same can be achieved with food when you are fully fed uh, for 20 minutes nothing energy will be lost so anyways mushrooms 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 right oh yeah why i can while i can demonstrate it use events as free teleport at the early game it it's nothing big but later on as i explained it's quite costly so these active events doesn't matter if you will participate or not as you can see there is a button teleport it doesn't cost anything so if you want or need anything near this or even moving closer to whatever teleport you would be taking for example here 378 and the thing is uh, it doesn't sound much but remember you will be teleporting around a lot if you are just you know careless and that burns down your money way quite fast so you know using these events just teleporting there and from from there you can just arrive at the next teleport uh, tower and keep jumping where you need to go it's a way to save some bucks especially in the early middle game right mix gear sets and simple not much to explain if you mouse over any gear sets yeah sorry it's a bit in front of yeah. okay i'm gonna take it down give me a second yes uh just so you can see every single um armor set i have seen has four of these 
bonuses and it means you need four of them in total you have six items that you can wear wear that means you can go with agent mask um agent top agent pants agent shoes and add more but the thing is those extra two will give no benefits instead look what i have i have heavy duty gloves that themselves enable first uh, 10 plus uh, hp which is good i could add uh, my heavy duty set um hat and have also the second uh, bonus but i'm not going with element damage in this game so i switch something else and i have falcon hat that has uh rolling stamina cost reduced that's up for you to pick for example maybe falcon uh glows would be something i was going for uh, for critical damage so anyways you get the idea you can combine four for these bonuses or for example if the last one is absolutely something you don't want or you don't need you can go with for three and three you know three items from one three anyways combine them never go with full set with one just one set right all right this i wanted to show earlier but learn weapon bonuses that's actually for the early game but I'm going to explain so you're aware because it more kicks in later in the game. So, uh, whenever you find tools and items, you see the weapons, you see I have accuracy and, and whatnot. So, it's, it's kind of understandable. But uh, pay attention that you can switch from weapon futures to calibration attributes. And here is different picture. I'm going to show you in different screen. Uh, for example, this um, rifle and has a chance to power surge 35 uh, percent chance to have a power surge when hitting enemy where sniper rifle has a trigger bound and these are the special bonuses for weapons and even when you go in blueprints and even if you don't have them unlocked this is something it's absolutely crucial to understand uh for example you see there are hammer um the sniper rifles absolutely my favorite but even this one that the blue one has chance to trigger burn where this hammer has trigger a chance to trigger bounce this one triggers fortress warfare so these are really special and really important why mods when you open up a mods you have a lot of mods and they actually you see they are classified by items by things by uh whatever early in the game for example you you read some bonus that says uh when fortress warfare ends and something something you think like hey when does it trigger do i have it or something in most cases the answer is no just from pure mathematics standpoint there is a shrapnel mod bounce mod fast gunner unstable bomber fortress bullseye uh vortex power surge and burn eight one two three four five six seven eight nine nine you have one weapon well you can switch to two but basically you have weapon that that is actively used it means you can have one only one of these all of them will be ever enabled and you can of course mouse over on the weapon uh, the green ones don't have but as soon as they are uh, rarity blue they will have some kind of bonus bounce shrapnel bounce unstable bomber and it is really important because trust me just imagine how insane would be to put some some you know uh, bonuses you can read uh, in these um, for these um, sets as well sometimes they and often they are regarding some specific type of bound shrapnel whatever if you don't have that weapon that bonus is useless for you and the same goes for these weapons uh, i have the basic ones but sometimes these uh, cal cal um, calibration attributes as well have some uh, burn has a chance to have another another stack i don't have any burn weapon so that's pointless 
really, really, really important. It took me way too long to understand how, what, what they are and, and realize, oh, they are unique by every single weapon. I, blew my mind. The faster you learn it and, and pay attention to not pick those, the better it will be for your gameplay. Get every deviation. And deviations, remember, are these in the box. Yeah, they come out, they just live in there. And why you need all of them? No, that's the thing. That's not the goal to... Not all of them are valuable, but one thing, uh, if you open... Where where were they? Yes. Uh, they will repeat themselves. Some, some of them are more often picked up than others. But what is most important is when you go under... Yeah, under this field guide and you open up the vision archive. It's just another way to see them where it's not repeating. You see how many... I don't still have every one of them. And there, I believe some of them are locked behind, behind other uh, those, those phases. But every time you get a new deviant, like new first time unique, you will get three of those absolutely valuable um, meme points. Oh my god, they are really meme points? Who came up with the idea? They call them memetics. Yes, these meme points, they, you will run out of them. So you want them, the, the biggest amount of them, and one way how to get them, secure them, is picking up these... Uh, little deviants as you can see there are some variations and some of them are all also put in in a glass um, that, that cage anyways you want them trust me you want them all because you see how many points i gathered just from randomly and picking up different deviants right all right bonus point this is what i was talking about the uh, pvp just popped up next to my base so I'm gonna show you how it is it's one minor point so you see some of them have these on hats these are the medusas and whenever they die they drop their hat on someone else so you see I just pick up two times sproutlets and that's it even if I die yes I'm gonna you see there's a marker I will receive the hat now they will hunt me because I am generating those sproutlets. And that's it. You just die and then you can respawn without any uh, cost. And you see in the corner I have 88 already those sproutlets. And I will gather more. Uh, we all play together. It's just running around shooting dying picking up and then repeating the same of course bullets are bullets are used but hey that's that's the price and as you can see it's pretty easy to get gather these points that's not a big problem and i'm gonna get back to the uh list and let's continue from there Ill and skin rabbits so yeah i'm talking about little rabbits that are all around the map just when you see just you know pop it and skin it the important part is you need to skin it then while skinning there's a possibility to get this deviant it literally comes from random drop from rabbit so while you do things better incorporate this and maybe get it while you are doing something else because i had to go in full rampage took a lot of rabbits until I get this lethal rabbit and if you're wondering why yes trust me this is one of the best uh, there is uh, it gathers meat and something but most important uh, from let me see raw hide so basically hide is the thing that you will need every time all the time uh, for all the um, weapons and also for uh, some tools so you will need to gather it anyways and it's quite annoying to do it by hand with this rabbit you don't need to do it anymore so this is one of the best deviants you have you can have right max out electricity and reason is simple if you open a building menu you will see uh, at the 
top you see there is power generators there is limit there is no unlimited so originally there's only six i have improved it to seven and if you look at my advanced bus uh, uh biomass generators i have two bonuses to them so not only one and they in total generate 37 watts i run with this so how to max out just to show you my base my end game base in phase three i have 20 watts left over it's almost nothing so trust me electricity is something you want and it all depends really on what kind of specializations you will have remember they are random so i had a choice i went uh when everything was revealed uh there was uh this one um electrical specialist where plus one generator and every single generator creates two more electricity right so that was one and then i had a choice there is uh, there was biomass generator and there was um, wind, not wind, but solar generator. And also I had the one that works uh, in, in polluted area. So I had a choice, right? There's no point of picking all three types of generators because only one of them generates most out of it. So solar is least, less power. Um, and this biomass is quite, quite good and i didn't want to put my base where it's polluted right where is pollution it's one of the generators uh, they work only from that if you are curious i can show you that also reminded deviant energy generator it's really uh really costly and yes it generates a little bit more but requirement is then the base has to be specifically in polluted areas so you can't really move them around so my best bet was next thing, um, not advanced hydraulics. That would be also one thing, but even more is actually biomass with all the bonuses. I am quite happy because I am making a lot of electricity. Memetics are limited and I already, I think, mentioned it, but I just to highlight, I have most or not if all, all of the, um, the points you can potentially have and the problem is you see i have infrastructure maxed out but just to showcase uh crafting all these end game recipes require 10 of these meme points meme points <laughs> so you see how much still i lack and it's not only there also in logistics you see some fertilizers which i consider least needed and, and charms and, and more more building uh, types and everything so there is a lot more these memetics than you have uh now and the phases are opening there are more ways to gain but especially when the early when you start early in the game and you have you think like oh i can go wild yes you can but you will run out of them so uh, well, that's one of the points. Uh, one more is uh, season goals for late boost. This is something that I realized uh, and I want to share with you. You probably already know, but just, you know, for, for everyone's clearance. Um, oh, sorry. When you open up, basically escape and there is um, the phases, you see. First, second, we currently just started phase three and there is season goals. So this is for the late boost when i'm talking about late boost you saw i need how many points i still needed so in first phase when you do these things which basically naturally if you explore if you play the game if you craft if you you know are curious little kitten that clicks every button there is you will get most of these trust me <laughs> i haven't ever tracked none of them specially that's i guess this one thing i was reading and then doing but uh when you do this you collect points that then when you reach these these numbers total 70s 170 whatever then you obtain and get these points right seems absolutely nothing but wait look what happened when this uh, second phase kicked in way more points together well a different price as well but 35 these where mean points came from here 40 40 and guess what this yes i already gathered i 
completed most of those quests. 120 I gathered a few hours ago, I spent them all and I'm still missing some of the updates. So <laughs> the only option is to, to, to put a lot of uh, hope for these next uh, phases that will unlock. But just, just to clarify for everyone, if you lack those uh, meme points, look further no more. Check if you have... I believe you have to complete every single one of these, then only then these will unlock. But uh, the, the good part is everything is tracked. So if you have done it already, they will be automatically... That happened me uh, with me on the season goals. When they opened, I had already all of them done. I just clicked claim, 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 and I suddenly had a lot of these points. Again, happy, again, amazing. I hope that will happen with you too. Acid fuel red plasma rounds. I am gathering, as far as I can tell, what is the most valuable in the game. So, um, in this synthetic bench, yeah, it's advanced. I'm gonna just show you. Acid is something why it's important to mention while you are choosing the um, those those professions those pro those those 10 you can pick from four cards this is if you see this i advise take it because that means you will not have problem whatsoever so acid is needed for every type of end game metal to be um used before you can use you for aluminium and this tungsten you need acid to work with that also for for explosives for weapons for every single i think one of these items that that you can use they come from uh, deviants they, they drop some specific uh, resource and then you can make something that makes you jump a lot every single of these recipes have also acid in it so acid is one of them if not the most used item in whole game Remember what, how I told you to pick up from loot when acid is dropped? Yes, that's the reason. <laughs> so that's one thing. Second is you need to run around. Every single one of guys are either driving or running around. So portable mix fuel is the, the cheap one. And then you have this possibility to transform 50 of them to this expensive, which is I'm not going to do. Remember, that's why I gave you this tip. To purchase from pvp that that's that way acquire it where where is where is it where's the fuel here barrel barrel premium fuel yes you can purchase it right away and as far as i can tell it might be highly required also for red plasma rounds uh did you remember these these prime wars those are not soluble and they're now just open hard version of them they're pretty annoying if no one knows what to do and there is an one enemy that has protection layer silver layer none of the bullets go through they do measly small damage until someone brings in red plasma rounds they also these also are spe special from speciality i picked them up because i knew already that there's a thing you see silver plasma missiles you put them in gatling cannon that manned cannon and they do extremely high damage you see also fun fact they require premium fuel to be built so yes it comes another level of complexity i can tell you how far i've seen uh these these specialities you can pick i have picked up this possibility to create acid from sulfur sulfur just easily can be mined so you can make acid from sulfur then you there's another uh, recipe i don't have where you can make fuel out of acid and then as you can see you also need fuel to make red plasma around so basically there's a chain and if you can pick every single one of them, oh boy, you are unstoppable alone. And just a fun fact, I'm just gonna throw in because you deserve more, despite the fact the video is so long. This is the Gatling gun I was I was talking about. Gatling gun 2. Pay attention to the requirements. Oh. 
my screen is on on top of it but yeah you need 15 barreled premium fuel for the gatling gun itself so gatling gun and then it shoots rounds where the the fuel the premium fuel is used so insane amount of fuel so if you're wondering why I'm saying this, it's for you to acknowledge and know way before it hits, way before you already picked some specialization, what currently is expensive and required items in the game that you can easily sell. And later in a few minutes you will see also why I mentioned it. Water, oil, acid, pump. That's all the same. It's one item. This is the item. The water pump originally is like this. When you put it on ground where nothing else happens, it will pump not clean water, it will be dirty water, but still water nonetheless. But there are two more items, uh, two more things that you can gather. One of them is oil. Uh, I haven't found it yet, but there's a lot of uh, from pre-original release, uh, the area where um, on the ground, if there are some oily uh, black things, uh, the dirt basically there, if you put, there are people reporting that suddenly they got cr crude oil. That's not a fuel that you can pump, but it's a crude oil. Uh, that's, that's the second thing you can pump. And then the third thing is there is no acid as such. I'm using the wrong words because I'm moron, but why i drive here you see when on your backpack there is this number popping up this is where um pollution is and here if you put the same water pump down they will gather um what kind unfiltered or some kind of acid this guy definitely is pumping that acid and that acid then can be turned into another acid and then it can turn be turned into usable acid I'm, I'm explaining like a moron i think i used to pump it but then your base needs to be in pollution all the time and it's annoying as hell i don't think i have let me check if i have precise naming so this is the acid you will be using at the end and I think I dropped, there was leftovers, but I'm not quite sure. I don't want to lie how these, oh, so yeah, you pull out polluted water, not dirty, polluted, and then you transform it slowly into impure acid and then impure acid is turned into acid. So these are the actual names. Yeah, these are the leftovers really slow process really annoying way easier way better gather um, that sweet sweet um sulfur and turn into acid also slowly but way faster trust me you want that specialization way better than anything else upgrade your bike as i said this is and will be your favorite um traveling comp company on and the reason is actually a bit different. Uh, why you need to upgrade it, all other items, whatnot, but I have suspicion. I'm not gonna change back to my old tires, but the handling also is traction. So the better uh, tires you put on, I have them maxed out, uh, the better handling and traction you have for your bike. And I know there is demonstration needed for that, so wait a second. So for demonstration, why to upgrade your bike? So I think it's not intentionally from the game, but it's kind of funny. And you see why I will highly insist on handling is also being attraction. So uh, whenever you get a bike without any upgrades, it will just do exactly as you saw there. But as soon as you get first upgrade, well, this is fully maxed out. It literally can draw up the steepness you can never imagine and yes i have used it in this game when you just don't want to walk around and there's a cliff clearly not meant to be climbed get on your bike the, the higher level uh, the the handling which is also traction you will have you can do some absolutely crazy stunts and you can imagine how that's useful in this vast vast game where a lot of these cliffs are 
right? So yes, upgrade your bike as soon as you get. Just a side note, to upgrade them, uh, the, wa the weapon, the bike, you need to unlock. I think it was where, where, now the last one. The garage, the modifications. The first upgrade will be good already, but yeah, the later, the better. And then you can do absolutely crazy stunts, of course. Purchase blueprints. So this is the start start room. One of the currencies where basically a lot of um, in-game everything uh, revolves around it. And also in the introduction of the game, you will be at one point given this uh, treasure trove where if you play it, that's one of the things, this is where you spend that money. That the currency is used here and there you have a chance of something, something, blah, 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 doesn't matter purchase blueprints if you pay attention don't press f but press g on this thing it opens totally different screen where there is no luck there is no random there is no nothing there is something where you go for example uh, sniper rifle for example this i purchased as, as soon as i had 8000 these things yes i haven't sent i spend it on that other but best weapon ever from sniper rifle perspective fire rating higher anyways look and you will find something for yourself always pay attention also what kind of features it has but there is a way and that's where i would suggest to go just you know stable uh, the same setup something probably ever purchased next read it what it is and you can you know slowly gather them and, and purchase and build your absolutely legendary armor the blueprints are here they're hidden right here all right last three mx often what it means hey there's nothing there's that those are keyboard keys when you press m it opens a map that's still nothing when you press x it opens what's happening uh, real-time recommendations is basically when event is going on this list somehow i think it's either off or it's bullshit altogether because as you can see there is nothing about these car uh cargo um that, that, that pvp that i mentioned i forgot the name suddenly but they are not even here in the list i have never seen them in the list but they pop up just out of nowhere but when you press m and then X, uh, there's often something going on. Some event where you just freely can join, get experience, money, loot, something, something. Especially while you are still leveling up, that experience is quite needed. And if you're wondering why, one of the reasons, of course, is to get these sweet, sweet uh, specialization. Every five level then unlock. Until you hit the last one, you don't know what you will get. And next point, let's just sum them all up, is pick up everything that glows. I'm sh sh currently showing my garden, but the same is true when you run around. You will, especially in the night, from the far away, you will find whatever it is. Pumpkin, beet, potato, flower, whatever it is, you can pick up. Uh, if it's glowing because it's deviated when it's deviated uh, as you can see i have pumpkin two pumpkins deviated that basically means better version of the item and if you're wondering why you should be interested in them uh, first of all these deviated are marked with uh, the star so they don't spoil that's one cool thing that's not the main or major the major cool thing is you will find the recipes around the world where you need those deviated items. Ah, where is it? This is the one, yeah, deviated potato. So I have French fries, one deviated potato, and as you can see, it has energy and uses, increases weapon damage by 20% while in fortress warfare. So special weapon is needed there. Or, yeah, Stardust Pumpkin Salad used to increase critical damage by 15% for a specific period of time. So, anyways, they are super, super, super highly regarded um, and, and, and high-level items you can craft from there. And last, and absolutely last, 
and not least but last <laughs> traveling merchant this is something currently i've seen on all servers everyone doing uh this is how it looks if you are wondering why and uh, these two uh, different garages are needed as i said motorbike will be your favorite you can have these vehicles they are slow they are sluggish they are not meant for transporting but you can build on them and what you can build is just ignore the turrets but you can put an electricity put a vending machine and then in vending machine sell some items remember i told you already everything if you can create acid if you can create those fuel or or any other highly requested items you can put in vending machine why in vending machine because then you need to drive somewhere where people are a lot uh, here i believe is the the trading area where pe uh, people are dropping off their trucks and in there is the loot what what they want and as far as i can tell i haven't set up anything but you can sell items and then require something else in uh, in exchange for example you can put if you make acid you can put acid in and say hey give me back uh fuel and user people user other players can give you back the items you need this is basically how this in game is uh created there is no auction house like other games where everything is um centralized so we will depend on these uh, vending machines so this traveling merchant option especially end game mid end game yes it's it kind of looks like because if you can't create acid or you can't create fuel and you don't know where to get it the the one of the options is to purchase from other players so you need to give something to get something and that's how in this game you can exchange anyways these are 40 tips and tricks for everyone now you should be good to go and do whatever you wanted to do uh, this is my um, originally mush not marshmallow mushroom base uh, all turrets i have better ones now haven't changed uh, of course my teleportation portal i'm not preaching what i'm not doing myself uh, this is the as compact as i can get I got everything I need. Of course, I need more space, so I extended a little bit further. And now, recently, even further, because I realized I need those mushrooms a lot. <laughs> so this is my mushroom place. And by the way, it doesn't go above seven, seven stories. If I try to build uh, one extra, uh, the, the, the game says, nope. That's out of the base limit. So base is limited up to seven stories. That's something you also now know. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm still browsing and gathering and reading internet through and through uh, to understand everything. So far, I think I'm good. Please don't just ask where those deviants are. They are all across, that's totally different topic, and there are a lot of them, and how to obtain them, rare drops, special drops, quest drops, uh, random drops, oh my god, oh my god, that's totally different nightmare, yeah, anyways, I'm off, thanks for watching, and we'll meet in other videos, hopefully, I hope you like this, alright.